Well, meteorologist Peter Hall joins us out on the weather deck with more on that. Peter. Well, we're likely to see a combination of rain and snow become light snow showers and flurries right through the course of the overnight and tomorrow morning. And some spots may actually have a very, very light accumulation of snow, but most of us, it should be a nuisance at worst. So let me show you. It's part of what's new and next. So we do have that combination of rain and wet snow right now. It's a minor matter, and actually, for a good chunk of this week, that's what we have, plural, minor matters. Now, within that, there'll be a couple of spots that may have something a little more, but that'll be the exception rather than the rule. So, as you'll see in a minute, it was pretty warm this week, and at least for early December. Coming ahead for the next couple of days, let's call it Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, three days, seasonable shivers. We're probably going to be in the mid and upper 30s, which is slightly below average, but the low temperatures will be slightly above average. It all evens out to a seasonably chilly kind of forecast for that period. After that, it appears like Friday afternoon, and at least for parts of the weekend, we have some milder moments. So let's talk about those temperatures. Yesterday was 50. It was actually 49 on Saturday, which is above average, because we just showed you the normal highs around 40, 41. Today, it was 45 at midnight in the lower 40s in the afternoon. As I've mentioned, the next three days after that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, slightly below average for the daytime high. But take a look at the temperatures trending higher, upper 40s Friday and somewhere in the upper 40s, the lower 50s likely for this weekend. Let's reverse and before we talk about further ahead to the weekend, the immediate concern right now, we have a spray of light rain and light snow over the entire area. This will consolidate more to a spray of snow showers and flurries and drizzle southeast of Lake Ontario. You can see it's most persistent actually in central New York, and there will likely be some leftover flurries and drizzle through the day tomorrow. But you may have noticed that temperatures barely get to the freezing mark for lower elevations, and even where it does, it's going to really be tough to accumulate snow despite this spray. Now, having said all that, Here's my forecast for new snow. I'm going to come back into the key here in a second. Most of us will see at least a trace, which means snow falls, but it doesn't stick. But if you're in the gray, eh, it's possible you might be able to get a dusting or coating to about an inch. The best chance to get to the inch or maybe get a little more, northern Tug Hill, northern Adirondacks, and in the hills south of Syracuse. So even there, you take the whole overnight through the entire day tomorrow. I mean, this is pretty minor an inch or two for the next 24 hours. For Tuesday night, there's two things happening, some light snow to the south and then a bit of lake effect, especially for the Finger Lakes. So the best chance of accumulating snow more than an inch would be probably near and west of the Route 34 and 38 corridors. So that's like Wayne, Seneca County, maybe Western Cuga County might get two or three inches Tuesday night. Remember, we're chilly right through Thursday. Friday, though, it's higher, upper 40s, Right now, Saturday looks dry, 52. Some rain eventually moves through the area Sunday, and then we get colder again. You can brighten the holiday for a child in need this season. CNY Central and the United States Marine Corps Reserve are once again partnering for our Toys for Tots campaign. Drop off a new unwrapped toy at Charles Heating or CNY Professionals, or you can come to our Toys for Tots drive through we have it every year at our studio right here outside in our parking lot, 1030 James Street. That's on Thursday, December 14th from 5 to 630. See you there back inside. Yeah, there's a lot of kids out there that could use a